How's it going guys? My name's Neil Beale and today I wanted to share with you my technique of getting the maximum amount of points you can get on the Paris level using the Silent Assassin Suit Only Challenge which is actually way more difficult than I thought. It took me so many times. But the maximum points you can get is 210,000 which is pretty nice and I'm currently sat at the top of the leaderboard with about 100 other people which is which is cool. So we just picked up the invitation which is in the bathroom. This invitation is very important because it allows us to reach the first and second floor. So quickly run out and you run outside, zigzag through these people and vault. I'm not sure if that even saves time, probably a few milliseconds but I like to do it. Okay, so first set of guards. All is good. So we're going to run to the right, not the left. The kitchen is on the left and you're not allowed to be in there. So to the right, the first set of stairs and the second set of guards, same same idea. Everything's fine. Up the stairs and through the first door on the left. So you'll see two more guards, but this time you're going to get frisked. So it's important to remember not to bring any concealed weapons. No guns, no explosives, but then again, you wouldn't bring explosives on a Silent Assassin run, so you wouldn't need to worry about that. Fiber wire is okay. I always carry fiber wire and coins. So, don't worry about them finding that because it's not a problem. Now, through this door. In here, you're going to find a screwdriver, and a screwdriver is a very important weapon because it's instant kill. You throw it straight to the head and they die instantly. It's much better than... Um, well, in this case, it's much better than the fibre wire because the fibre wire takes time. Sometimes you don't have time. So, anyway, we're in and we turn the clock radio on to distract the guard that's in that room. Now, this bit is a little difficult to do. When he comes in, he opens the door, obviously. While the door is open, throw a coin into the far right corner and quickly, as fast as you can, subdue this guard, okay? Run out while they're distracted, subdue the bodyguard, and you can see Dahlia's just over there, distracted by the coin. So, while she's kind of confused, screwdriver to the head, and it's that, that's it, that's it, it's easy as that, okay? Quick clean-up operation. One guard in the closet. Now go and collect Dahlia. And pick up the screwdriver, we're going to use that again. Pick up the coin if you want to. Don't worry about the blood stain. If guards see it, I'm not sure if they see it as suspicious anyway, so that's not a problem. Especially on, on this run, it, it was never a problem. Okay, there's still one more guy. Turn the radio off. Well, I like to do that. I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference, but I like to cover my tracks. Hide the guy, and it's important to remember to pick his gun up. So we, they, they drop a gun, obviously. And you can't conceal these kind of weapons because they're too big. So, like I just did then, just place it to the left side of the cabinet, to the wardrobe, and that should be fine. Okay, so we're going to exit the way we came in. Plain and simple. Down the stairs. So, we need to try and kill Victor. And, like Dahlia, Victor always has a bodyguard, so we, we've got a bit of a, another problem. But what we're going to do is we're going to run to the bathroom where we found the invitation. Well, not exactly in the bathroom, but to the same corridor, because on the wall there is a fire alarm. Setting this fire alarm off puts Victor and his bodyguard into kind of a panic mode. And they run to one of the designated safe rooms. One of them is in the basement, and 99% of the time they will run to the basement. 99% of the time. Only once did they run to another one, I think, which is on the first floor, and then that messed the whole run up. But, anyway, run to the basement and get ready. So, the, this door I just ran through to get to these stairs, imagine you're looking at the staircase, it's on the left. Okay, the door is on the left of the grand staircase. And we just picked up a wrench, which is on the left side. As you come down the stairs, turn left, and you see the wrench. So, this is the non-lethal weapon we're going to use to take out Victor's guard. Remember, they're both going to be running, so it's going to be quite difficult. When we take Victor's bodyguard out, we need to make sure that he's behind Victor, of course. If he's in front of Victor, we'll see. But sometimes we have a problem where the bodyguard comes down the stairs first, 
But if that's the case, don't worry, because Victor usually runs faster than his bodyguard. So just wait till he's in front, take the bodyguard out, and that's it. But in this case, we're fine. That is Victor Novikov. So Head of Sanguine, here's our time. Ringleader Make your move. Throw the wrench, and he's down. Okay, good. So pick the wrench up. No evidence. And very important, again, pick the gun up. We don't want any evidence of any attacks. Check out for guards. No guards are all good. And there's just a box, a crate just here. We're going to dump the body. And you don't have a lot of time. Victor changes his mind and is, is all calm. And he will exit the room in a few seconds. So hide behind this wall so he can't see you and get your screwdriver in hand. There he is. We can just see him. He's going to go up the same stairs that he came down. So when he turns the corner to go up the stairs, we're going to make a move. Now, okay. We're going to run quickly as fast as we can. Aim and throw. That's it. So pick the screwdriver up and drag the body to the same place. And it was here I got actually got quite nervous. The whole run was going really well. Then I heard these guards shouting. Three guards started coming down the stairs at the same time. But nothing came up on my screen. For example, no crime noticed signs or body found. So I think they maybe just heard a sound of the screwdriver or something. I don't know. Okay, make your way to the exit. Don't worry about these people. They will begin to spot you. But as long as you exit quickly enough, you'll be fine. And guys, well, that's it. That's how I did it. That's the fastest way for me that I can get this done with the maximum points. Uh, if you have a different way, I would love to hear different techniques. I've tried all sorts of different things, but this specifically in this order, this way was what worked best for me. But I would love to know what you guys did. Um, and if this helps you, please let me know if you managed to, ge uh, to get a better score, beat my score, beat my time rather. Um, yeah, let me know and thanks for watching.